All right, what you see here is a Harbor Breeze Cheshire 42 inch fan in the kitchen of the place that we're gonna be moving into probably. I have permission to be here, so I'm able to test this at least. Unlike the place with the dope profile too and the and con slash Westing House sort of thing, and I actually want to test those too. But um, at least I have permission to test this one out. So it's, yeah, you guys, this is probably gonna be part of my question. I'm not keeping it up. So I'm um, here. Yeah. The lights, one of the lights is working. There's two of them, and this one's empty. That one burns, that one's burnt out. Not, not a surprise at all. Now this fan was on reverse. So that's probably why I believe it dirty like that. So um, yeah. Let me start off on low. The motor is a bit loose. I don't know if it's, if it's supposed to be like that, but um, this, yeah. I already tested it earlier, like a few days ago when I came here with my dad. It hums a bit, I'll say that. But I um, mean, yeah, this is actually one of the fans I am from Harbor Beach that I actually do like. So I will be keeping it in my collection, that is. It has a pretty fast low speed, to be honest. I already have a night, I'm definitely going to be putting the um, brass passport to in this kitchen. That's my biggest option. It's like my, the most probable fan I'm gonna put in here. Cause the living room's right over there. Yeah, I do feel some air from it. It is wobbling a tiny bit. But I think that's because the motor's a bit loose. Yeah, the motor's pretty loose. The other day when I tested it, um, it had like a bang, like a, like a the motor would bang against the housing a bit. That's medium. Wait, I think that's medium. Yeah, that was medium, sorry. Of course, it's a pretty fast medium in my opinion. Yeah, they're not the best fans, but I like my grandfather. He used to have one in his kitchen, so that's actually why I'm keeping this. Not installed though, that is. He actually had one in his kitchen too. And this is the place I told you some of you guys about the story. Um, why well, it's in a swatch of fans I don't see anymore. The first one is two white and brass 44 inch coastal breeze fans with low profile light, and this one has a that's this anti brass 44 inch with no light. That's the old that's the place that my grandfather used to live in. And he had it on our reach trust sign, but I never got a picture of it on that flash drive or on, on that SD card. I used to have it on a different one, but my dad lost it. And yeah, I'm not gonna show it with the white because there's only one of them working. I'm gonna try not to show them on, with white on it on each speed. But um, yeah, this is definitely good. This is very lucky to be part of my collection if you move here. It does go pretty fast and high, I'll give it that. Does have a do hear pretty strong air sound from it, like and it's probably could have fans going fast. I can actually feel some air from it over here too. So pretty impressed. But yeah, the motor's pretty loose, I can tell without a doubt. It's pretty basically the same issue that the um, carriage house too in my kitchen not in the kitchen the living room had in the old place. It would loosen up over time the motor. Oh wow, I feel a pretty strong breeze from it over here. They're decent fans, I, I remember that much about these. I don't think you can have four blades. I know Dan Newman, Spiffy Newman, um, he did a video of one of four blades. I don't know, I don't know if, it, if it was the older ones that can do that, but um, when I take it down, I'll try it. It's just I don't want a white fan in the kitchen because the stove over here doesn't have a thing that keeps the fan from getting the kitchen from getting grease all over the place. So, um, yeah. Wow, it sounds... Yeah, it's fine. So, decent here. It's not the worst thing I've ever for a 40 fan. I can... Well, actually, it's pretty, well, you're pretty good at the amount of air for what it is. I do remember these fans being pretty good for what they were worth. Especially for, like, when you were a fan, they were pretty good. Probably about, like, the air movement. Probably a bit more than that actually. Probably the amount of a close to um, a coastal 
so much you're not choking. It's not a horrible hair movement. I'd be moving a pretty decent amount, but yeah, I'd probably, I'd probably give this a green one. The same hair movement as a um, Hunter Colts that we use. Or the style that we use. It's somewhat cool, so it's not exact, but it's similar. Pretty loose, I can tell. But I really do like these fans. These are, probably, these are definitely one of my favorite Harbor Breeze fans. Are these are the ones that I actually wouldn't mind having in my collection. Well, this exact one is actually one that I actually want because my grandfather used to have one in this old place. And it was actually a pretty big story about him getting it. I actually got it with him. He got a kind of argument with him because I didn't want him to have it. I figured he should get something better. But. It kind of has this, it's a, these are pretty sentimental fans to me. So I am going to now probably be getting this one for my collection. This need a good cleaning, but I'll do that once we move into the place. So that's why my horse is mumbling because I don't want it to speak too loud because the place echoes already as it is and there's nothing in here and there's neighbors upstairs. So I don't want to speak too loud. I think that it, it sounds like I'm yelling and stuff. So um, yeah. <laughs> Um, I'm not sure what year this one's from, but the pull chains are not original to the fan. But I'm actually surprised they didn't take this fan down. Well, I don't know, the light over there just looked like it was put up recently because one of them was missing. So I really don't think they changed any of the fixtures around here except the other two rooms that were in the video of the whole entire place. So I mean, I am glad I'm able to at least test one of the fans in the places that we're probably going to move into. It's a pretty nice area, it's pretty quiet. It's like, it's, it's three to two over from where I live now, like the old apartment that we're moving out of. So like, it's like, it's on the same street where the um, Hampton Bay Industrials are, the right, like, two quarter emergency fans and the Dynasty Hugger. It's like, around there, it's like close to like, there's this place that has two Hampton Bay landmarks, at the landmarks two at the mini markets, so it's like in between that street and where the Industrials are, the Hampton Bay ones. But yeah, it's pretty close to where I live now. It's like a I just walked there. It's like five minutes from where I live now, honestly. Five, seven minutes. I had a pretty decent spin down, so this fan definitely works. It was on reverse, so they probably use it a lot. But yeah, it does need to. I don't know if the blades need to be repainted, but either they need to be repainted or just cleaned. I think they just need to be cleaned, honestly. But um, yeah, for a white fan in the kitchen. I mean, they discontinued these in like 2009, I think, 2010 ish. So it's been here for almost close to like f maybe five, seven, five to ten years at, at most. Um, yeah, but yeah, these are definitely one of my favorite Harbor Breeze fans. And it's come to a. Oh, it's not stopped yet, yeah, actually. On oh, camera, it looks like it's stopped. But yeah, it's come to a complete stop, so that'll be the end of this video. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more videos to come.